welcome to Palm Ocean YouTube channel. Today, this video, we're gonna talk about electric folding bike. But uh, before I get to the spec and everything and what this bike is about, I just really wanna give you a backstory here. So this bike, it's branded as Evo, EVO. So when we first saw this bike, the price point, retail price point is uh, 14, 1940, which is really, really low price. And we're always hesitating, you know, when you have getting a really cheap or inexpensive bike. Um, but when we actually look into a little bit more, it has pretty good spec. Um, it has good component. Um, so the Evo brand is actually uh, branded by a distributor called Holly uh, Lambert. Short form is a HLC, and they are basically is a Canadian as well as a US distributor. And uh, what they really want to try to do is bring in bike an electric bike that has fair price, good value, a low price point, good value bike. So this is the Evo at water electric folding bike. So I'm gonna tell a little bit more about the spec of this bike here. All right, so in this segment, we're gonna get into the spec of this bike here. So what I have here is the Evo at water electric folding bike. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start from the top of the uh, handle bar right here. So it has a bit of a ergonomic handle grip. It's not the best one. Um, I mean, it serves the purpose. It's not a very expensive bike in here. Uh, it has a twist grip, so then you can change your gear very, very simple. Uh, you have a quick release, so then you can pivot your handlebar uh, also for folding ability. And you also have a telescoping handle, po uh, handle post here, which allowing you to adjust. But what I really like about that is they flatten this area here, so it locks the handle post really, really tight. So, which means that you don't feel a lot of play when you're riding uh, up on the hill and so forth. Uh, it's a simple velo saddle. Uh, has aluminum frame here. Uh, what I like about this is also they have a headlight built in, so it's kind of really, really nice. So on the front wheel, you have uh, this brake. So this is kind of nice. I think it's uh, compared to uh, most of the folding by this is a slightly more upgrade. It's a mechanical brake and the tire is a candle two by uh, 1.75 tire. Pretty wide tire, has a pretty good grip. So this bike, you can actually uh, ride it on a gravel road and so forth. The chain ring is only a uh, 44 chain ring. So it's a little bit small. I would really like to have a, a bigger chain ring in here. And then going to the back of this, uh, this is where the motor is. It's a 250 watt motor. And the gear is a Shimano Alter Shimano gear. It has a total of eight speed. So it provides you a pretty good uh, hill climbing capability. All right, so let's get into the electronic part here. So um, the motor is sitting on the back wheel. Uh, it's a 250 watt here. It's kind of nice because it's small enough and uh, it's kind of hidden behind the uh, cassette or the freewheel. So you won't actually able to see the motor unless you get closer look at it. So another nice thing here is the battery is hidden inside of the frame here. It's a 36 volt, 8.8 mAh .8 battery. Uh, translation is 360 watt. So it's sort of uh, a light uh, battery, so which means that you'll be able to get about 40 kilometers and so forth. Um, and then on the top here, you have the control panel. Um, this is where you are controlling all your electronic part here. It's a very, very simple display. Um, so you have a power on button. Here. So you, you basically when you hit that, it's going to turn it on and you have an up and down arrow and this allowing you to either increase your level assist uh, or you go to the negative to hit the uh, down arrow, it's going to reduce your level assist. Uh, so on the top side, you have the battery indicator. Right now you can see my batteries uh, have three level or three bar here. And then on the bottom, that's your level assist as I'm increasing the number it's gonna increase in my level assist. And then you have a headlight in here. All right, next I'm gonna show you how to fold this bike here. So first thing you remove the kickstand. Second thing is you're gonna drop the seat post. After you drop the seat post, fold the um, handle pedal. Then the next step is to uh, start folding your um, handle post here. So the first thing is you release the handle bar. 
and then point it either downward or upward but i like to point it downward because it's quite easy you can definitely fold the handle post a little bit more lower to make it more compact but at this point in time i'm not going to do that hold the safety pin up and drop the handle post down right here and then the next step is to open up the safety pin and open up the main latch hinge and then then you fold it like this um, so it is a pretty fast fold but it's a little bit more clumsy uh, there's no strap to hold the um, the bike together so you will have to always making sure that your bike doesn't fall off on you here to unfold it so basically you will reverse open up close open up put the main put the main hinge back together put the kickstand down right away uh, put the safety pin down raise the handle post up lock it up readjust your handle post here open up your uh, pedal and raise your seat post right here that's how you fold and unfold the bike here all right let's talk about the pose and con of this bike here so the first thing that is really really good is the price point it's 1940 in canadian dollar um, so it's a really really great price point here and the other really nice thing is the integrated battery into the frame so it doesn't look like an uh, electric bike it, it looks exactly like a folding bike and you don't have another battery to sort of stick out and, and so forth it looks really really slick and I really like uh, having a disc brake component on it it provides really really good stopping power most of the folding bikes do not have disc brakes so that's a really really bonus here um, so overall it's a really great bike but let's talk about the negative side of this particular bike here there are basically three points that I like to point out the first thing is the twist grip here this is actually very standard anytime you put a twist grip and combining with a brake lever that means you have less access to your finger so you can only put three or two finger in there where on my left hand side I can easily put four finger in there so whenever you're putting a twist grip it's going to shorten your brake lever so just a little bit more downside it's not the worst uh, under the control panel you can see there's a walk mode right next to the power button it's extremely easy to confusing if you're not familiar with the bike you could hit the uh, you may want to turn off the the, the bike by hitting the wrong button by hitting the walk mode and it caused the bike to walk so I think in terms of the design, they should have uh, moved the walk mode button to somewhere else, don't even bother to use it because it could be dangerous because people can confuse that on and off button here. Um, the one last downside is this bike, when it folds, it does fold, it does fold really quick if you know how to fold it, but it is a little bit more clumsy when it folds. Um, it doesn't have anything to hold on to the to the bike there's no magnet or anything like that so that's just a minor thing that i really want to point out if we tell you everything is perfect then we're not doing the service so we do want to point out some of the weakness of this bike in here so there was a few negative things um, again i'm gonna highlight it a bit you know in terms of the control panel it's a little bit confusing so you just need to watch how you don't hit the wrong button because if you hit the wrong button the bike will kick off on you um, so and the brake lever is a little bit short on the right hand side so those are only two things that i see uh it's a little bit more negative and the folding is not bad but you do need to know exactly how you fold it otherwise if you don't fold it correctly uh it's going to be really really clumsy um in order to fold this bike so uh anyway that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you uh, like our video if you do like our video be sure to give us a thumbs up and if you want to know more about electric bike or electric folding bike be sure to come to power motion store at Eau Claire market all right thank you for watching